After attempting to save Dohi, Guan's tattoo has returned to him, making him a perfect demon once again. Although his power has returned, he still dreams about when he was human. Now he knows the girl's name. By knowing her name, which means he is close to Wol Shim, that's why he can call her name from afar. Since Zukyo lost the bet with Gu Wan, she will help him with things she knows. That's why she answers Gu Wan's question about the reason he still dreams of when he was human. It looks like Gu Wan is still dreaming about his past, not only does he want to become human again, but also because of his necklace. Since Dohi seems to recognize his necklace when she first saw it, here Gu Wan thought Dohi was looking at his body. And when Gu Wan saved her before, he touched the necklace. Additionally, after Gu Wan saved Dohi from the fire, the scene focused on his necklace and Dohi's hand. It looks like in the past, Dohi is the one who gave Gu Wan that necklace. That's why, after meeting her, he started to dream about when he was human. In my opinion, Gu Wan might fully regain his past memory on the day of Ga Yong's performance. When he first met Dohi, there was news about the Sunwall Foundation having a double sword dance performance after over 300 years. This already indicates their reunion from the start. Also, as I mentioned in the previous video, Guan founded the Sunwall Foundation to preserve his memory when he was human and to wait for Dohi. That's why the Sunwall Foundation focuses on supporting traditional artists, and he likes to collect things more than a traveler. On the other hand, Guan has realized that the painting is the same as what he saw in his dream, so he looks at it, trying to find some clue from it. Now that he knows his past name and the girl's name, he will be able to find their history. However, there are two women in the painting, which I believe one is Dohi, based on her mole on her face, and the other one is Gayang, as she is still performing the traditional double sword dance. But if you look closer at the painting, there is blood on the sword. As we know how Gayong was lying to Sok Hoon about saving Dohi from Guan, as well as trying to make Dohi sacrifice herself to save Guan. This leads to the conclusion that Gayong will also be the one who will disturb Dohi and Guan's relationship at the end. The blood might also indicate that in the past, she did something to Dohi, and she might attempt to harm Dohi now due to her jealousy over the fact that Dohi and Guan can't be separated. Thus, she will become the dangerous variable in the roulette of eight. Since she has become one of Guan's people, it looks like Guan has a soft spot for her, as he only gave her a warning for what she did until now. Especially now Guan's power has returned, and Dohi has become someone important for Guan, she has no reason to separate Guan from Dohi. Stay tuned for the upcoming episode to witness the unfolding of Dohi and Guan's joyous life as they may have encountered unforeseen challenges posed by Gayang. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.